Hi Sagittarius, this is your November 15th through November 21st weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread, we'll talk about your work business and your finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles, then we have the Five of Wands clarified by the King of Pentacles, we also have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Star, and we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So, um, yeah, you have somebody new coming towards you, most likely it's going to be that King of Pentacles, right there in the middle, this is either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, or this person is very grounded, very serious, they could be really good with their finances, they could be set <laughs> in terms of their finances. And uh, there you are in the Nine of Pentacles, the first card on the, from the left. Um, this is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who's... Uh, independent, self-sufficient, somebody who projects self-confidence, uh, you're doing great, perhaps you're not looking to start a relationship with anybody, or you're just enjoying uh, your time by yourself. But um, your time by yourself is going to be interrupted. <laughs> We've got the Page of Cups, the first card on the left. This is a card of an offer, a small offer. Um, but um, this person is kind of testing the waters with you with this page of cups and uh, it's an emotional offer so they're looking at you from the emotional point of view page of cups is all about messaging so it could be text messages uh, emails phone calls they could be uh, giving you other signs of attention like give you sending you flowers you know things like that and uh, I think it will eventually progress into something more serious, more grounded, because we've got the five of wands clarified by the king of pentacles, perhaps you're talking to uh, more than one person, and the five of uh, wands represents competition, so it's either more than one person trying to get your full and undivided attention, or this king of pentacles will want to get serious and they will fight uh, for your full and undivided attention. Right, and then we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is uh, you again. This is either you before you um, met this uh, King of Pentacles, before you got acquainted with them, because you you just weren't really uh, thinking about starting anything. It's it's kind of similar to the Nine of Pentacles energy, right? Or the Four of Swords represents you thinking about their offer. Um, you're gonna need to take a a few minutes <laughs> and sleep on it, literally, because the Four of Swords is somebody actually laying down, so perhaps you'll need to sleep on it and uh, see if you would want to give this relationship, to give this person a chance, and it kind of looks like you will make a decision to um, at least try it with this person, because uh, in the outcome we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the star, the star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, or the star is a wish come true. It could be a wish come true for them, or you, or both of you. And uh, the star usually represents the type of wish that we hope for or wish for for a very long time, right? Perhaps you've um, somewhere subconsciously you still thought that mm, it would be nice to have this type of a relationship, or it would be nice to meet this type of a person, right? And uh, when this person is finally here, you are like, hmm, is this really the person I've been uh, hoping for and wishing for all this time? So that's why you're taking a short break <laughs> to think it through. And uh, yeah, you will uh, give it a chance because uh, the star is clarifying the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a brand spanking new beginning. The Ace of Swords could also represent somebody having a very straightforward and uh, direct conversation about this whole thing and I don't know if this if the initiative is going to be coming from this person or you perhaps if it is coming from you you'll just be um, very blunt with them you'll tell them you know what I wasn't really looking to start anything but if I am to uh, start anything it, it better be good <laughs> it better be um, some kind of a committed relationship that we're looking into or it's this person 
coming towards you and they'll say, you know what, yes, I know you're not really looking to start a relationship right now, but hey, I will do this, this and that, I really like you, I'm really into you, I'm really serious, I'm looking for a committed relationship, so yeah, come on, let's try this, See what? let's see what happens. We'll, t we'll take it slow if you want, we'll, we'll go, we'll work by your rules. So um, yeah, it's going to be something very straightforward and direct, something like that. And yeah, looks like you will be giving it um, a shot, Sagittarius, so yeah, looks pretty good. Sagittarius, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the chariot, we have the ten of ones, we have strength clarified by the hierophant, and uh, we have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo or a Taurus. I think this spread is all about uh, your relationship or you, your marriage being tested this week. I don't know exactly what's going to be happening and how your relationship is going to be tested, but uh, the Ten of Wands right there, right next to the Chariot, this is a card of a burden, this is a card of a hardship, this is a card of a test or some sort of a difficulty. Right, so something is going on, your relationship, your connection is going through something. I don't really see it as being something really extremely serious, but um, yeah, it will be put to the test here. And uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a um, soulmate connection, but basically the Two of Cups symbolizes your relationship, your marriage here. And, uh, the, the higher front clarifying strength right there. This is also about something traditional and in this case this is about your committed relationship or your marriage. Right, so the first card on the left is the chariot. The chariot is um, all about moving forward. It's all about overcoming that burden that we see in the 10 uh, one. So I think you'll be able to overcome it. The chariot and strength suggest that yeah you will have the power you'll have the strength you'll have the wisdom to uh, just bulldoze over this difficulty over this challenge and strength is also all about you having strength to do that strength is clarified by the hierophant the hierophant is like I said it's about your relationship or your marriage so yeah you'll be able to um, pre you'll be able to save your relationship, right? Strength and love will prevail here. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a good test. It's a good thing to have a test like this every once in a while, but uh, I think you're going to pass it with the flying colors because all these um, major arcana cards surrounding the ten of ones plus the two of cards suggest that it's not going to be a problem, all right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Page of Cups, the Fool, we also have the Six of Wands, and we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is coming back around um, with this Page of Cups right there. This is um, an apology card. They will reach out to you, they will apologize, they could probably uh, send you flowers or some send you gifts, write you a poem. <laughs> um, so yeah, Page of Cups is communication. Somebody is coming back from the past. Um, we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I think this is the energy of the past. This is what happened between the two of you. And the Three of Swords is a card of a breakup and it's a card of a broken heart, right? So hopefully uh, that the two of you can um, relieve that in the past and I think that's exactly what's going to happen here because we have the fool and the six of ones in the in the spread the fool is all about taking the leap of faith it's all uh, in this case it's taking the leap of faith again or releasing yourself from what happened in the past then starting from a very clean slate and uh, we also have the six of ones and the six of ones is a card of a victory this is a card of a success and uh, back in the day the six of ones used to be called the proposal cards so um, 
a proposal is not out of the question. If not immediately, then at some point in the future, if the two of you decide to um, give this relationship another chance, if you decide to bury the hatchet. But I think, yeah, you will be reconciling here because um, I don't really see any rejection cards. It's, it's, everything here suggests that a new beginning will be taking place. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances this week. Sagittarius, um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Nine of Swords clarified by the world, we also have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, um, I think what's happening here is that you've been really worried about something. Perhaps you thought that you would not find a job in the near future, or you were really worried that uh, this company that you've been interviewing with is, is not going to pick you but uh, the worries are coming to an end so we've got the nine of swords right there in the middle that is the card of somebody who's really stressed out anxious and it's clarified by the world card and the world is a happy end card <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune, the first card on the left, this is all about starting a new cycle. So perhaps you're starting a new job or you're starting a new business adventure. The Ace of Cups is the offer itself and it will make you really emotional, really happy. Because like I said, you were really worried about this uh, new thing. But um, your worries are going to be become a thing of the past. And uh, the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, uh, this is uh, you, Sagittarius. Once this whole thing takes place, once you start this new job, once you start this new business adventure, um, you'll feel really fiery and very passionate about this new job or this new thing. And uh, you'll feel like you're back on your horse and uh, you're galloping towards success. So yeah, don't worry. Um, something new is coming towards you. However, one um, word of advice or word of wisdom if you're still interviewing for that job don't let don't take this spread for granted still do your homework still prepare for that interview still um, do whatever is needed for this new beginning right don't take it for granted if you do the work then it will pay off all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week Sagittarius um, we have the Queen of Swords we have the Two of Swords and we have the Knight of Swords there's lots of swords here you're definitely dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius so this spread could be directly or indirectly related to you uh, let's start with the indirectly related to you scenario um, this is um, about somebody else this Queen of uh, Swords right there it could be uh, a friend of yours a family member or somebody you associate with in some way right and uh, they will basically tell you that um, they decided not to go for something or their trip got cancelled right because uh, we've got the two of swords right there in the middle and I think the two of swords is um, the word no somebody is closed off somebody is um, declining something and uh, whatever they're declining is um, in the uh, Knight of Swords card. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is somebody coming towards them or it could be a trip that is gonna fall through. Basically whatever it is, they, uh, it's not gonna happen. Okay, and uh, it has to do with your friend, your co-worker or your family member. If this is directly related to you, then perhaps you were thinking about doing something with this Queen of Swords. And again, it could be anybody, um, a friend, a co-worker, a family member and uh, the plans are gonna fall through or if they come forward and offer you something you're gonna say no so that's what you're not expecting to happen this week it's not I don't see it as being very something really serious you know it's just one of those things that happen to us all right um, so that's what I got for you Sagittarius hopefully it all resonates and uh, other than that have a great week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.